Norma, New Jersey, driving to Elmer. The corn stalks on both sides of the road. The old farmhouses. Something so peaceful, so beautiful. This is rural South Jersey um, at the Alliance Cemetery. So in 1882, a group of 43 Jewish families uh, left Russia and uh, they came to South Jersey to build their lives. They were part of the Am Olam movement and they believed in connecting to the soil and to farming. They became farmers here in this area. In front of me is a Holocaust memorial that's built at the cemetery. And uh, this was built by the families. Many of them uh, that moved here eventually were Holocaust survivors. There's also an old synagogue here as well. It looks like the cornerstone of the building and it reads Chevra Avas Achim, Congregation, Love and Brotherhood, or Love of Brothers. Alliance Cemetery founded in 1891. And you see uh, graves from the early 1900s here. So you can imagine the early settlers here were leaving the pogroms of Russia, anti-Semitism, and they came with all these hopes and dreams to America, a new country. They end up in rural South Jersey, and they become farmers, almost a like a return to our ancient Jewish roots. The early Jewish people in the land of Israel were all farmers. They, far they farmed the land, and uh, they raised their families. And it's interesting how the children grew up and uh, moved. They all became professionals, so no one really moved back here. So there really is no active community here in Norma. Uh, it's definitely a, a part of Jewish history, American Jewish history. And every time I come here, I'm always uh, reminded and inspired. Each family was given a tract of 15 acres of land and given the opportunity to pursue their dream, to support their family, to build a future. It all happened here in the late 1800s in Norman, New Jersey.